Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Kwame Waters from Major Medical. I will be explaining to you guys today how to operate your concentrator. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, first on the concentrator, we're going to start at the basic button, which is our power button here. Initially, what you want to do, click this on. And after you click it, all your lights will light up, your indicator lights here. They're all light up, just indicating the concentrator is working. Here, just like so, this green light will pop on in about five to seven minutes. That's indicating that your oxygen is starting to get pulled in through the room. Once you see that, you know you're good to go. This indicator light will turn yellow. If you guys see that, that could indicate that something is wrong with the tubing or filters could be dirty. This indicator light will turn red. That's indicating that something could be wrong with the concentrator internally. If you see that, call your local provider. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now we're going to talk about leader flow. This clear cylinder here that has one, two, three, four, and five is the cylinder where we'll be controlling our leader flow. If you see how I turn the knob and the ball goes up and down, you want to set it at your prescribed leader flow, whether it was one, two, three, four, or five. If this ball drops below one or goes above five, it will automatically alarm your concentrator. So ladies and gentlemen, to say if your leader flow was prescribed at two, you would fluctuate the ball so the line is going directly through the ball at two. And that is a proper way to set your concentrator at your prescribed leader flow. Now we're going to show you how to properly place your oxygen tubing onto your oxygen concentrator. So you take your tubing here like so, place it directly over your oxygen outlet and press in firmly. So it's a nice snug fit. Next, you'll take your swivel connector and you'll place the other in the oxy oxygen tubing. Going to here, like so. Now you can connect your cannula onto the other end of the swivel here. And that's a proper connection. This here is our circuit breaker. So say for instance, you guys have a power outage. This button right here will pop out a half an inch what you want to do is automatically turn the machine off, push the button back in, turn the machine on, it should automatically reboot the machine. Okay guys, the only maintenance that you will have to do on your concentrator is pull this filter out like so, once a week. Wash it in warm water, just keeps the dust from getting inside the machine. Dry it off as best as you can. You don't want it to be dripping wet and just apply it directly back into the back of your concentrator like so. Thank you ladies and gentlemen for watching this video. My name is Kwame from Major Medical. Have a nice day.